3D printing. Uh, it's an interesting way to take your ideas and turn them into a physical product. So you would design your components or pieces on computer in programs like Tinkercad, Autodesk Fusion, uh, PTC, uh, Onshape, SolidWorks, all these different types of programs where you can create things, Blender. You take that file, you'd push it through a computer where you would, what's called slicing it. You would take the file and you'd slice it on the computer so that the machine then understands different levels of where they're going to deposit plastic. You then take the file over to the computer and the 3D printer is nothing more than a glorified glue gun. It moves the head to locations and <laughs> deposits the plastic on top of the prior layer and it just moves its way up vertically. Uh, so ultimately you end up with you know a component that's you know finished on the printer bed. Okay and then you snap it off and then you can start to assemble things. So for example if you wanted to create in this situation a, a light bulb and that light bulb can, you can make threaded parts, you can do different designs different shapes and geometries and then you can assemble the pieces together that's so cool yeah and ultimately we have a little sample here <laughs> with an led bulb inside so yeah so you know that's 3d printing basics um, the plastic that we use is a starch based pla it's a polylactic acid uh, material it's the safest stuff that we can print with and most environmentally friendly stuff we can print with. But like anything, they do take time, uh, but the newer machines are getting faster than the older machines, which are, you can see, are slower. Uh, we use 3D printing to uh, prototype, but also for final products. So for our classroom, we don't have manufacturing uh, tools or capabilities like a commercial enterprise might. So for our classroom, 3D printing is a, kind of like a final product. So we might do some things uh, on 3D printing to, to prototype, but usually our rapid prototyping starts out with, first of all, your design starts on paper, then you're moving into cardboard, paper, tape, rapid prototyping, making sure a concept might work, and then you'd move into computer-aided design or CAD, design it, then push it over to a 3D printer and print out a, a product. And even then it takes you, you know, one, two, sometimes three times. You can see here in this, ultimately this product, there were several mistakes along the way. We were asked to make a light bulb that you could light up and have a logo on it. And, you know, throughout that process, there were several mistakes that you had to go back and correct.